only crusher in his corner. I'm wondering if a lot of people are thinking like I am, that with the crusher in the corner, what does it mean? Does it mean that Stanley Blackburn and the championship committee have, in essence, given carte blanche to Mad Dog Vachon to do whatever he wants? Now, you might want to think you're going to present yourself with a Christmas present this evening and become the next heavyweight champion of the world. But I'll tell you what, Mad Dog Vachon, and I'll tell you what, Crusher, if we've got a dirty trick that we can pull to stop the two of you, if we've got anything up our sleeve, any form of skullduggery or vicious nastiness that can be conjured up, we're going to do it. We're going to use it because we have no intention of ruining this Christmas. I'm ready to go in there and do whatever I have got to do, Mad Dog, anything. Merry Christmas, Bobby Heenan. Put a little light on it. Maybe you like to sit around, open up your gifts, and have eggnog and trim the tree and do all that. I don't have time for that. I'm concerned with the heavyweight championship of the world. I'm also concerned with the animalistic abilities of Mad Dog Vachon. And to top it off, who does he have sitting in his corner? The one, the only, the beer-drinking buffoon himself, the Crusher. Well, if he thinks he's going to intimidate Nick Bockwinkle and myself, if he thinks this man is going to be unnerved and concentrating on the Crusher, you're badly mistaken. Because Mad Dog Vachon, you talk about a dog fight you're in for. And Crusher, you get off that chair. You make one move towards me, and I'm going to drop you. You're never going to see New Year's of any year. Now you thank you, thank you, Bobby Heenan. Sit back and throw one back with your pinkies in the air and a middle finger to the world, and join the Gentleman Bastard Brigade.